Okay, in Illustrator, we can now see our finished illustration. As you can see, I have my layer window where it is all divided into layers in an independent way. So how are we going to work on the project? Well, if you want to make your own personalized project, you can start on some paper, drawing ornaments. Then you can scan it or take a photo of it so that with the pen tool in Illustrator, you can go over it and animate it. In this case, I'm working on this project with a file that's on FreePick, for which I'll leave a link so you guys can download it as well. The file is Fairy Tale Ornaments, and it's in the FreePick library. I chose this one and this other one to develop my project. We're going to go to File, New Document. We'll set the size at 1920 by 1080. And we'll set the color at RGB. We'll hit Create, and we'll get a blank artboard. In this case, I've dragged these two ornaments that I'm going to use, and I fit them in this part. We just have to fit our design to the part in the middle. I'll do that using the crown as my guide. I drew this crown on paper and took a photo of it. Then I put it in Illustrator and used the pen tool to draw it in. After developing the crown, we're going to fit it in the middle. As you can see, I've only put one side in. That's because in After Effects, I'm going to duplicate it, and I'll only have to give these ornaments the animations. And I can save a lot of time by duplicating the animation on the left to the right. As you can see in our final project when it's exported. So to start with this, I'm going to select all of these objects here and I'm going to put the opacity at 40%. I'm going to create a new layer, locking in the one below, that's going to be our guide to work on the project. We can zoom in by pressing Z, and I can click. The H key, the will, H give, key us, will give us the hand tool, as you can see and I can move it like this. It's much easier because we can get closer and press Alt, and we'll see that the zoom now has a minus, and I can click it to get further away. The keyboard shortcuts are really useful. With the P key, as we can see now, we get the pen tool. We're going to work on the lines on this crown first. I'll press P, and in the fill, I'm going to take it away, and I'll leave it on black with five point thickness. I hit accept, and now we can start. I hit click, and now another click here. I can drag this down to give this a curve. I'm going to click here after, we get the clipping option. I click, I clip this point. Why? If I don't do this, I'm going to hit Control Z. If I don't do this, if I try to make this other curve, I won't be able to. So I can cut with a click on this point, and we can drag it again. I'm going to hit Control Z, more or less here. Now we're going to clip in the controller click up here, and drag to make this curve, more or less there. I can click again with another click, and I'm going to make another point to create this other point. I click and drag it without letting go. I'm, I'm going to clip again 
And now another click, and without letting go, we'll move it. Okay. We can clip here. Let's click again without letting go. We'll move it to create this curve. Okay, let go. Now, let's clip again here when it shows up. Uh, we get this little triangle as we can see. I click here again and I clip. Now I can close, hit click and drag more or less to give it that curve that's in the drawing. Good. Now, if we want to, we can modify it a little bit. We use the direct selection tool, click on a point that we want to modify. As we can see, I hit Ctrl Z, it's easy, we can quickly modify it. I'm going to hit Ctrl Z. Now I'm going to choose the pen tool again to do the line that's in the middle part. I click here, and I'm going to click here to drag it, more or less, until there. Now I hit Escape to close the line, and now the line is independent from the other one, as we can see. Now we can eliminate. I take off the padlock and eliminate the image that's behind with the delete key. More or less, there we can see. I'm going to hit the lock again. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to modify it a little bit. With the direct selection tool, we can move this part up. And you can modify it however you want. Okay. We're going to start again doing the line art for the ornaments. With the pen tool, we're going to click and another click on this part and we drag to create this curve. I'll press escape to close and I'll go on to the next one. I hit click and then another click here. I drag and there I have that curve again. I hit escape to close. Now I have to click here and then another click here and drag it. It looks like I made a mistake. I'm going to hit Ctrl Z, click more or less here, and I can drag. Now I don't have to clip it because if I clip here with this curve, it's going to look a bit odd. Let's Ctrl Z, and there we go. We're not going to clip it. We're just going to go and click here and drag it so that it makes that curve. Now we have to click more or less here. We have one more click left. It doesn't look great here, so we'll Control Z, we'll click here and drag. Lastly, we just have to finish our line out. In this part, I hit Escape, and I'm done. Let's get rid of the eye here to see what it looks like. It looks pretty good. You can soften it if you want. We go to the Smooth tool. I'm going to select the line. I select Smooth tool. We move it over here and we see how it gives it a kind of smoothness. Now we can click the eye again and move on. We need to do this line here. Click with the pen to create it. Another click here. And we drag it. And now we go back here. Click and drag. I'm going to have to clip here. And I'm going to go to this part. I'm going to zoom in a bit. I'll press P, and we click to continue the line. Here, I'm going to finish the line. Press Escape, and we're going to fit it. 
we zoom in, we're going to fit it with the direct selection. We'll move this part so that it's not cut there. And here we're going to soften it, turn off the eye. We're going to select this line and with the smooth tool that also softens, we're going to go over it to give it that softness. Very good. I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to turn on the eye again to see what we have left to do. Now these lines that look like leaves, we're going to use the pen and start with the one that's on this part here. We click, we click again and drag it more or less to here. We have to click again here to click this point. Let's click again here and drag. Good. Hit escape to close. Zoom in a little. I'm going to move on to the next line. Press P, click, another click here, drag, close. Click again to click this part and give it another point to here, more or less. Little by little, like this, we're going to hit escape. Little by little, you can add the leaves with the pen strokes. It's quite easy and simple. You can also make your own designs this way. Now we're going to set the fill to black and we'll select the ellipse tool. And we're going to create these small round parts. We'll put a little circle here, press Alt and drag to easily duplicate it. And I'm going to make it bigger. I press Alt and drag and I'll make it bigger. This way we can make the line art. You can develop it. And also in this course, I'll leave you with the finished product so that you can download it and animate it in After Effects. When we're finished, it's going to be together in one layer. It's going to look like this when it's all together. What we're going to do in the layer window is go to the option that's in the top right. We click and press release to layer. We click and we can see that it's divided. While we've got the last one selected, hit shift and we'll go to the first one. I'll click and drag down and let go. On the first layer, I'm going to hit delete. And here we have them all divided up and they're all ready to animate. When I did this crown, it was really important for it to be right in the middle so that we can align. Like with these two independent lines, for now, for example, we're going to put them here. I imagine you guys have done it around this place here in the crown. In this case, as they're two strokes, I'm going to select and press Control G to group them up. As you can see, now they're all in the same layer. In the Align window, we can go to the Align option on our artboard. Align all our board. And we'll hit Align in the middle. Hit click. And that's it. For this reason, it's necessary to align it because this way our animation in After Effects is going to be proportionate. We'll hit Control Z to go back. And here we're back. 
just like this again. Now we just go to File, Save As, and give it a name like Wedding Project. We hit Save, and we have our illustration ready to animate in After Effects. Let's hit OK. And in the next videos, we'll see how to animate it.